everyone was running. I've never seen anything like it. There are half the police in the area. How clear do I need to be? Move out of this area. Clear the line. You've been dubbed the, the Lion of London Bridge. The Lion of London Bridge. Is the Lion of the London Bridge himself. Everybody ran for cover, but Millwall fan Roy Lana decided instead to stand and face and try and fight off these three armed terrorists. You've saved people's lives and you even probably escaped death as well. Yes, definitely. Uh, was it 47 people that got stabbed in that him, night? Yeah, I think it was eight people died. Eight people died? Eight people died, 47. Which seven people were stabbed. Or you in obviously him. being one of them. Yeah, I was near enough for the last one at the end. Um, in about eight minutes, they've done that, eight, eight to ten minutes. It began just like the attack on Westminster Bridge in April with a vehicle running over pedestrians. But this time, there wasn't just one attacker, there were three armed with large knives. All these stories come after, um, they might save someone's life. I mean, I saved my own life, I'm happy. Do mm. so I save someone's life? You get people, I've got people over the years come up to me, um, say thank you. We got out. So I've got the absolute pleasure of being joined here today by Roy Lana. Welcome, Roy. Welcome. Yeah, nice to meet you. It's an absolute pleasure, mate. Thank you for being here today. Yeah, thanks for asking. Um, and you've you've been you've been dubbed the the Lion of London Bridge. You've saved people's lives, and you even probably escaped death. As well, yes, definitely. Say, but you, you know what? Before we um, get into it, where, where where did you where were you born? Like where? I was born in London, lived in Peckham, um, brought up in Peckham um, all my life, um, from council estate <laughs> in Peckham. Which what was life like? Ah, uh, <laughs> probably not like today. We had so much fun on there, was like it? growing up and yeah. all that. Um, yeah, it's what we had, and we had to make the most of it. It was nice. It was good. Probably not better than the kids mm. we are today. Um, was it quite rough uh, back then, or? I mean, Peckham's always been a rough area. Mm. Um, a bit more than like most council states and that. Um, it's what you get. It's way of life you brought up with, and you. It's just no different than you have to deal with it. But um, yeah, I was being brought up there. I had asthmatic. I was an asthmatic from being born. So as a child as well. I was in and out of hospital. struggled. Yeah, I was in and out of hospital like, up to the age of 10 where um, asthma attacks and things like that. But all I'd ever did was love playing football, which <laughs> probably probably made the <laughs> asthma attacks, yeah. yeah. Um, things like that. But yeah, life was, well, life was what it was and mm. yeah, I wouldn't change it for the world. Mm. Um, being brought, brought up where you are. Yeah. Um, and well, phone. It, it's, it's quite interesting because you, you know, being in that sort of area, it obviously bred a... Uh, a tough if you look back um, as you go on, probably uh, from where we were talk, where we were brought up from, it's probably made you to that night, mm. that person. Yeah. Um, which, luckily, we're still here and can talk about. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah. So, um, so so life for you, like, leading up to that event, you were just a, a no, you'd say you're just a normal average um, guy going through up life? Up to the event. Yeah, a normal guy going up, you know, um, have your ups and downs in life and every other, probably deal with everything you go through. Um, but going back to like where I brought up um, in the old Kent Road, Peckham, I mean, we had a, probably the worst football team ever as well <laughs> from a young age of like 10 years old I've started following <laughs> Millwall with. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we used to go in there, bunk in there. It was only like a stone throw away from the ground. Um, so from a young, young age of 10, we used to jump in for nothing and watch the game and all that. We knew the knew the, uh, the gaps in the uh, stadium where... <laughs> where to like, <laughs> yeah. you and watch. So, and, and then until today, probably 50 years later, they're still still going, but mm. still, 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 still the worst team <laughs> in London, probably. Um, but yeah, and, and, that, and that's another thing where the area you brought up and obviously the, the, uh, the back of the fans get... Probably the worst, worst fans ever, probably in most people's eyes, but we're not. We're not. Yeah, wh wh why do you think that is? Uh, probably because of trouble, Dad. Yeah, always, always <laughs> yeah. creating trouble. Yeah, there's always was, there's always a media thing where any little bit of trouble, 
Mm. It blows out of proportion, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's something that might be quite... It probably happens every Premier League game today still. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's just where the news report yeah. and, and how much they want to turn it yeah, into one something. Yeah, one person run on a pitch of saying where it's pitch evasion. <laughs> That's the difference. Mm. Um, so, so, so what, what, what happened for you leading up to, to the event? Like, what were you up to? Um, up to the event, I mean, the event was in 2017. Um, I said I've been brought on Peckham, um, schools in Peckham, uh, things like that. But leading up to 2017, I mean, 2017 itself was a bad time uh, for whatever. I mean, you had the Westminster um, terror attack mm. um, back in March, leading up to two weeks before the London Bridge one was the Manchester one. So there was a thing going on in London where, or in... in in England, where there was terror attacks beforehand. Okay, you still go out, you still do your normal things as you do. Mm. Um, I mean, you don't you don't think of them still when you go out. It's the same as when the RA used to bomb London. Um, they ain't gonna, it happens, it's scary everywhere, it's so close to your home, and you read about these things, whether it happens. But no, you don't, you just carry on in life. Life goes on. Yeah, life goes on mm. still, on it? Um, but leading up to the, uh, I mean, in my life, I was having personal relationships with the uh, mix and all that, where I went back to my mum's. Um, even then, like my life wasn't that brilliant at the time. Um, I stayed with my mum, which she was moaning because I was always probably coming in the pub late and that. She's an old woman. And Good old mum. Yeah, before, like a month or so before, like the terror check, um, yeah, I know. Said she had a spare room and come stay there if you want. And um, yeah, I did. I, I went to stay there to give mum a rest. But anyway, it was a stone's throw away from the Borough Market. Um, yeah, and it was just saying, really, to get, just get my head back together and mm. I've, yeah, and sure I get a place and yeah. things like that. And um, so, yeah, it was a bit, um, well, going well, like my life, but steady, steady, trying to get out of right, things to get my own place again. and crack on again yeah okay. and um, yeah things like but on the night of the um, of the attack my mate phoned me up I mean I know everyone from there's a market down there and I'm um, always walk through there I know a few of the like, it's a lovely around. place isn't yeah. It? yeah oh it's gone like yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's got dear now but <laughs> yeah. I know it from an old marketplace yeah, yeah of course yeah I used to know it from an old marketplace mm. that things so I'll always walk through always stay shallow like people chat and things like that on the night of the uh, check, my mate phoned me up, asked me if I was, it was lovely. I, I remember it was the hottest day, probably the year, and the derby was on, which I like a little um, flat on the derby. Nice. Which I think, and the, and the Champions League was on that night. <laughs> my mate phoned me up, said, you fancy coming out yeah, for nah, a few beers, yeah, watch yeah. the Champions League. And at the time, I didn't really have much much money on um, things. Um, but yeah, we were going to meet up for the, uh, for the football anyway. Um, so I met up with my mate, um, a couple of others, um, watched the Champion, like Champions League near the market. And um, at half time, I've been home, got changed because I think I had my shorts on still from the night of the day. And um, well, I was only down the road, I thought I'd just go home and change quick, um, come back, um, watch the second half. That's how quick I like far. So I've done that quick. As I got back to the pub, mate just said he's left, it was two, two packs in there. In the bar, what, yeah. Right. So we've got it's just gone round the other pub. What, what pub was this? This was in the Wheat Sheaf, right? Which was just on the uh, edge of the uh, market. But we walked, um, they said they left there, it was too much to get a drink and all like not like it was too busy in there. So we went round to the pub around the corner because we had the um, the manager he'd come and watch the football with us anyway. So we went back to his pub, I met them back in there, and we watched the second half in there. And um, and that was going on to about I think it must be about quarter to ten, something like that. And, um, yeah, so we had a drink there. And then um, he was, he said, you fancy come over to the other pub, other bar quick, because I think his staff had to, like, it was closed at, like, ten o'clock, I think. Right. Like, oh, he owned a few of the, um, he managed a few of the pubs around there. Yeah. Right. Um, so he said, pop over this, it's like a restaurant bar, which is, the, as we know, black and blue. Black and blue, yeah. yeah. It's just, like, across the road from his pub. Um, he said, why well, they crack on, he's got an hour or something, like three or whatever, so we went over there. Um, I was going to go home, I thought, 
because I was only, I thought, tired anyway, I've had a couple. Mm. Um, I went in there for him, I thought I'd have one more, this and that. So there's about six of us in there, just normal. Um, well, it was Saturday night, but it was, everything was football and that was packed, but that was quite quiet in there, where Saturday bar, I'm just, I'm tired anyway, and I just thought, I'll have this one or something, or I think I might have had two, um, something like that. And, um, yeah, it was in there, it was in there about 10, 15 minutes. The best one itself was packed. Um, it's a different, like, section behind the wall. Um, that was quite packed in there. But I thought I'd have these. I was tired of just having a couple of chats with a couple of people. And, um, yeah, it's about 10, about 10, quarter past 10, I think. People going in, I think football finished or whatever. And um, it's just normal, just flow of people around that market, which is a normal... Saturday night. Um, as you look back now, I mean, I didn't at the time where certain people were running, sort of thing. Um, what, like frantic and. I suppose at the time I didn't really. Think me, too, much of, too much yeah, of it. It could have been for the people when if football's just finished, people were running for their trains mm. to London Bridge, where certain trains finished about half 10, maybe people might be running. Yeah, 100%. Like, yeah. Uh, but when you see too, bit, too many people running, um, looks a bit, bit different, but I didn't really see, didn't really take a notice of myself. Mm, what's all this commotion yeah. about? Yeah. It's only when, um, then the restaurant, because we've got a big wall, we can't see like the restaurant bit behind us, so it's like on a bend, so we didn't really come and see really what, well, it's only when the restaurant in there, you could hear things smashing, people jumping up from their tables, whatever. Right. It was commotion. Um, it's then, you see people run like, we stand up everywhere, people panicking. And are you with all your mates? I'm just with, with a couple, it weren't really my mates, it was, um, there was an old boy there, it's a couple, one or two from the market stalls. Right. The manager, I was only with my mate there. Apparently he tapped me on the run, um, shoulder, and told me to run. It's, well, I can't remember. Your mate? Your, yeah. I can't remember whatever happened. There must have been something then, because we can't see that, but there must have been, them best on people must have seen the three attackers coming towards that way with knives and everything so I was they're telling everyone like maybe I, mean, I, was, I, I was still tired and like, yeah, yeah I was just still there and like a bit oblivious to what's going yeah, on just still there standing we couldn't see nothing um, so that was all the commotion even then when everyone started running. but then there was the three come up towards so when the um, the girl from the pub went to shut the door that is, that's where they, like three, three um, men were coming up with knives um, things like and they started kick, kick the door straight away. And you could, you could see him at this point? Yeah, mm. see him at the point this way. Even then, you're thinking, you've done nothing wrong. Um, you don't, last thing you think. Yeah, you didn't put two and two together at that well, time. Yeah, like, I mean, it's yeah. all quick, quick, uh, we're talking about seconds here, mm. where you think, I think, well, they're not looking. For, yeah, know, exactly. I've done that, I've done yeah. that. Um, I'm, I'm, you I'm, haven't I'm, done anything wrong. I don't think you had time to think. I mean, if you, if you did, you run, then obviously, You've done something wrong. Mm. <laughs> I'd have thought. Like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, why would someone, someone attack you if you haven't? Yeah. Done? Um, anyway, they come in, kick the door. As soon as they come in, they, they plug that knife straight in my side of my um, chest. What? No, they didn't they say nothing shout, to you. They started shouting about Allah, um, Islam, and all this, and, and what they do. Um, Akka. So, 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 how far were you? Were, were I was, you right, away by the, from I was the door? right by the doors. Were you right by the yeah, door? Yeah, right by the doors. So, and right, I mean, it's a big like table there. I mean, it wasn't busy where we was anyway. And they've literally just come straight up to you. Uh, yeah, because I was kind of straight, bang, straight in there. That's when I livened up, off, and then the second, second one went straight in my stomach. What one of uh, one guy did it, or just all? Uh, the one guy done it straight away. Pulled it out, bang, straight in there. A quick succession, and then I've I've had to like fight. Um, I've had to fight for uh, my life. You've then. gone in uh, to like a frenzy. Yeah, mm. well, a frenzy. Did, did you feel it? Um, the punctures. That I mean, that one was the only one I felt because it kept flushing. Um, that went flushing for a long time. That's the only one. Then all the time I felt. At the time, then I fight with him. Then the other ones joining, and he's stab like stabbing me. I mean, stabbing me all over the place, slashing me. My, you got this uh, massive. You had yeah, this massive. Yeah, massive, yeah. Me and my but I didn't know about all this. I'm just still fighting away. Um, the other one's come and help him. Um, we're fighting along. Um, but me, 
I mean, the story goes with me fighting them for about half a minute, 45 seconds, and, the, and then must have been the third one. Um, must have, he's walked past us, but he's brought him back as well with tension, but he, he wasn't stabbing me, there was two knives different people used. But it's given them people, for me fighting, to stop them going into the restaurant bit, let's give people that time to get out of there, which was the story afterwards. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm still, I'm still worried about myself. Mm. I'm not going to be like, if I'd have slipped over, and if you know, I'd been dead. Yeah. I mean, I'm lucky to be still here. What happened to the people you were with? They've already gone. They had, they've right, already right, gone. Right think, yeah. I mean, yeah. you're talking about five or ten seconds before that. I could probably be at your door if. Mm. Um, so it does. Time, them yeah. seconds do help. Um, it, yeah. I mean. So you've gone into this kind of like frenzy now of yeah. just um, Fight fighting, for, fighting yeah, for yeah, your you life. Fight for your life, yeah. Which at the, end, at the time, you, I mean, you, it's one of the things, it's just a split second. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Like, even after that first, mm. even after that first step, <laughs> you don't have time to think about running or this, or maybe you do. Mm. But I was fighting and, and I, I well, really you, you, didn't you, get away. Your back was probably a bit against the wall with that as well. Yeah, because I, I mean, I broke, I must, I broke, um, in fact, we've broken rooms where I must have hit a table somewhere. Yeah. It might have been them, I don't know. But they've slashed slashing me, slamming me. Okay, for them, I fought, not fought them off. I fought to get away from them in the end. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've been badly um, stabbed and injured. Mm. I finally did get away from them and got myself back around that the other side. Um, but what you also did is you took the attention away from other people as yeah, well, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. In yeah. the process, because from what I understood, there was, uh, was it 47 people that got stabbed in that him, night? Yeah, I think it was eight people died. Eight people died. Eight people died. 47. Which seven people were stabbed. Or oh, you in obviously him. being one of them. Yeah, I was near enough the last one at the end. Um, in about eight minutes, they've done that. Eight, eight to ten minutes, they've done that damage. Um, so they weren't going to stop killing people. I mean, there was families in that restaurant there. Did they get to anyone else in the restaurant? No. No, yes, literally so straight to you. Oh yeah, because you have to come through my door to go out and through the thing. Mm. So whether they, that that bit there, um, yeah, if they if I was there, they'd got through. Who knows? What mm. they, would, they would have glad carried on. Yeah, stabbing people. Um, yeah, not one. But it was two people who I think it was quite with. They hit the other way and it's somewhere. Else, so obviously they were sitting there watching me. Helpless. Yes, I mean, but then that's most of. Um, I mean, in that area, you're probably talking about 99 percent would have run. Mm. Yeah, which they obviously did. Yeah, in them of sort of situations. Yeah. I mean, I've got to be brave dead or stupid to fight three people. <laughs> right, mm. but it, it wasn't like that. As if if you had that split second beforehand. Yeah. Run. You, ain't got well, you didn't really have much of. Uh, like, you don't have much. You, you you don't have much of a choice really do no, you and, no. and and you was already in the threat of yeah. the situation I didn't so. see they, were, they had big long knives as soon as they were walking up so so um, the, the the guys had knives strapped to their strapped to their wrists yeah. and the reason for that is that so people because so, I think I spoke to somebody about this and they said so they can't take the knives off yeah can't take knives drop the knives and same with the bridges I've heard because they one at Westminster before that mm. so they build up speed right so yeah, because I asked someone about, why is it always like the bridges, they knock them people down at bridges? It's to build up speed. Is that what it is? Yeah. I thought that a bit mad in London because... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're in the you know, yeah. heart of it. I mean, as we now know, their plan was to go to Oxford Street that day. Mm. Their plan was to go to Oxford Street and cause the damage. Yes. Yeah, but same. as you say, they must have been passing over London Bridge at that time when the football finished and still the crowds coming out. They went over the bridge a couple of times before. So, so, so before they went into the black and blue, they had essentially injured and they killed. They over, killed on the bridge, I think about three or four people. Then they smashed the van at the top of the bridge into um, the railings and they got out. I remember that. Yeah. Because apparently they had all, um, was it petrol in the back of the van? Right, right. Things like that. But they got out the, they got out of the van and whether that was intentional or not, maybe it's dip, maybe it weren't. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, the plan, um, but they got out and they started stabbing people in different areas, where the panic then starts. We're only like five minutes away from where the first bit was, a four or five minute walk, if that. 
but because we don't know nothing about it, you don't know nothing about it until it comes to your bit. Yeah. And then when you see people running, I mean, you were talking about, as I come out of that, I mean, my, my, then I'll see my man to the other side. And even that, even then, I looked like, I can't remember them because I'm pouring the blood. Um, and as I said, I come out by the doors at the back, at the best one bit. So you're fight, you're fighting them, and then you end up outside. Yeah, I actually, I actually, I actually run away. I finally got away from. Them. Did you? I mean, yeah. And did they chase after you? No, no, no. They, I mean, they was bang. Apparently, they bang on steroids, everything else. Um, how, how do you know that? We don't know if we like the inquest. Yeah. The, the inquest, yeah. right, right. I mean, I don't know what steroids does to you, and it, I don't know. Whether, yeah, but obviously, makes you feel um, a bit. Is it like uh, cocaine? Is it? Makes you, I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I wouldn't know. know but it might make you like something, something <laughs> different. Maybe mm. you're so like thinking. But um, yeah, I must have my man and got out one of the doors, right? The restaurants, um, which, um, as I said, I don't know which door. It took me a while afterwards to keep it playing the edge. Which door dug it out? But I got out of it. And, and this is like, and, you, and yeah. you've got all these cuts on you. You're, you're oh, ble- point of bleeding um, all over the place. And then obviously, I must have been. As I now know, I walk in down towards where I knew the bloke, the other pub I was. I think I knocked on the door there, pouring the blood, but no one could let me in because every every door was locked. I yeah, everywhere. I bet it was. I mean, it was like a ghost town. Was it? Yeah, well, I remember of. I mean, we're talking about then, from that attack, we're talking about two minutes after, they were shot by police. Two, two minutes after that, they were shot by police. So I've come out of there, I'm walking down, I think I banged on the door, and um, the Papa Boz, which was just across the road. Obviously, that mean, then I started walking away, but I can't really remember, because obviously I must have been coming in out of consciousness. I see a blue light, I think, at the end of the road. It was like a, a car ambulance. Um, I remember knocking on that, on a, on a side window. Well, yeah. You got that far, did you? Um, it's incredible, that's incredible. Yeah. It, you... I do remember the ambulance thing, because, um, and then there's a witness um, thing, remembers me knocking on the window. And um, it pulled away for me. Right. I, yeah, pulled away. And like, then, I mean, after that, I must have went in. Pff, Blacked out. Yeah, must have done. And it was only up the top of the boat. That's when, because I remember the blue light. And I must have been right there. And then the police must have come in. And that's where I remember the word again. Get down. Get down. I must have to be on the floor. And that's where I heard the bang, the bang so loud. They're, the they're saying to you, get down. That's what I think, yeah. Right. I do remember that. Yeah. Pushed me down on the floor. And um, that's when I heard all the firing. I mean, that firing, especially the market where it goes. I do remember them bits. You remember the noises? Yeah. Um, I mean, we're talking about coming after the attack. So, obviously, they must have been so close coming to me again. Mm. Um, I'd probably be yeah, lucky that the, the firearms officers... Got there, there at the time. At, that quick. Yeah. And shot him right in front of us, well, next to us. Yeah, you're really lucky to be alive. To, yeah. Uh, from, yeah. I mean, the the, the the knife incidents alone, you're, you're lucky to be alive. I was you hanging off. Um, I've been slashed, slashed all over. All I remember, I would on to that. It was like a flashing thing. Really? Yeah. And you're just like tightened like up that. on the sides? Um, I mean, eventually, um, they chucked me in a police car and must be to hospital. Oh, really? Back in a police car. And I mean, I've seen the footage, I've seen the footage of the uh, camera thing, right? And they kept telling me, "Don't touch your head, don't touch anything, don't." T- your ears hanging off, right? Nice. And all, I got like, yeah. and all I kept. <laughs> it was funny after because I must have had a second wind because I remember talking to them, right? And, they kept, and they're flying over bumps, speed bumps, and all I was doing was go up in the air. But I got, I must, my ribs must have been. <laughs> and you're coming out in and out of consciousness. Yes, yeah. I are. Yeah, probably a good thing they've gone over them bumps so quick, which. Because <laughs> he kept saying, "Hang in there, hang in there." Mm. So, um, I was just had a trolley waiting for me, and and then, yeah, it's good, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah and I can't remember much. Then because it's like I think what did yeah. they, they give you? Mm. It was like being on the roller coaster. It was like <laughs> was it? I don't know what they give you. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm lucky. Do you find it tough for them talking about it still to no, this day? It's good. I mean, it's good because. That's what you do with these therapies. And it was good to write, write things and then go over things. I mean, now, yeah, you look back and you're lucky. But lucky, but always also, you've helped. Yeah, all these 100%. Come up, all these stories come after. Um, 
they might save someone's life. I mean, I saved my own life. I'm happy. Do mm. so I save someone's life? You get people, I've got people over the years come up to me um, saying thank you. We got out one last year in um, Italian Gill. We met in Paris. Uh, she me a note saying thank you that day. Um, what, she randomly messaged you? Randomly messaged me. Did I, she? Thought, I thought it was someone who worked there was saying, um, if it weren't for you that day, um, I wouldn't be here. Is that Thanks she, to you. Really? And she was getting married it's that incredible. year. Which, and I met up with Did her. Did you get an invite to the wedding? No, I didn't. <laughs> I went up in Paris and uh, met her. And like, it was good to listen to her where she was where she was standing. I mean... She was there, was she? Yeah. She was there. She just had her food delivered. Really? Um, her and her friend. And, yeah, and she could see... The commotion. That, yeah, commotion right in front of everyone for, like, stopping them. Who knows? Yeah, anything could have happened. Everything. I mean, we could have well, been... I mean, we could have been talking about one person's life mm. up to, like, 20, 30 people could have been... Mm. Things like that. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm glad the police firearms turned up so quick and done that. I mean, okay, since the first thing, I mean, we're talking... Because it must have took eight minutes, I mean, I think it's say the old instance. So the police must have been on their way the firearms from that time. Yeah, it must have. I mean, imagine another minute or two, Re how many more, I'd have been dead probably. Mm. But so, yeah, I've got to thank them. I've never, never been able to thank the police officers, myself personally. Mm. I've tried. I don't know if that's a political thing. <laughs> I don't, I don't really? know. Really? I don't know. I mean, I couldn't even thank the two officers personally um, took me to the police station. Well, uh, they I, never connected you guys at any point? I've asked. I've even, like, mm. I think they're from Peckham Police Station. Yeah. I even tried to knock on the door, but I think Peckham Police Station should shut there. Well, I think it's, it's not 24 Is it hour. really? Yeah. But I've passed the message on many times. But what you, what you did was absolutely incredible, and you should be super proud of yourself for that. I'm proud. I'm, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm proud that thing. I mean, people say to me, why didn't you pick that? Why didn't you do this? What? Do you know what? Yeah. yeah. I've, I've, in reality, you should have won. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're not... I did, you're and not, I, you're I, not super, I did, super, and I stood, yeah, and I stood me grand, and um, yeah, and I'm glad and proud that, um, yeah, I mean, it's day, um, but so afterwards, you had to deal with the, the aftermath, didn't I mean, the after thing, I mean, should have been a new turn in my life where I got mm -hmm. on, and sorry, no, of course, but yeah, no chapter in my, but then, I mean, obviously, you come out of my field. Yes. Yeah, so, um, so, so what? So what happened? You, you was then. Um, so obviously, you've gone to hospital now. How long were you in hospital for? I was in hospital twelve days, but so, which was quite only, yeah. Only I know, it's bad, days. isn't it? Yeah. Bloody hell. I mean, none of the organs, which is another thing, were, were badly lucky. damaged. Yeah. Right. That must be where I must be all over. Like, so, yeah. So, so you had this massive, um, massive cut on the cut on the back end. You stabbed me in the neck, and only in hospital for off. twelve days. Um, yeah, very lucky. I mean, my arms. I mean, my arms are badly damaged. Right. I mean, there's all bandages up. It makes sense to me. It's because, um, stop you touching the nurses. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but one of them, there was, like, tendons were badly... Can, I must, I must you, have... Um, were you very sore? Yeah, I couldn't bend like that one there. Um, there, weren't many, there was only little minor cuts on me. And there's one slice there where they tried to slice me back. I must have... I must have been fighting for my life where... Mm. I must have done some damage. Oh, I mean, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's incredible. It, it, it almost doesn't add up being in probably uh, box, but yeah, it's just like to 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 be um to 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 come out twelve days later after all of them horrific like yeah. get cuts and yeah, it's just, it's insane. Yeah, so that was in like a thing. So you can't move it. I've, I've, I've seen I've, the I've seen some of the yeah, photos. Like, Mummy, so I like, couldn't move that one where mm. you can't pick a fight up and drink with it or. Yeah, do you, yeah, do you have, yeah. have your mate? Uh, they was in bars, they're like, just to keep it at bay until they, um, I mean, even today, I still have, um, go to the air clinic where certain things with the um, tendons are not, they're never going to be as strong. Did you process what had happened while you was in the hospital? No, <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, I mean, the hospital, I mean, there was, um, when I was in the hospital, I think that week was the um, general elections. Right. right, so the hospital's grounds opposite um, St Thomas Hospital's opposite Westminster. So the, that there was full of press everywhere because of the, they used the uh, the gardens there, the Wells Press. 
So the world's press was there, everything else. Most of the casualties went to another hospital. I think there's only about two or three us well, was rushed to that hospital. And to a different hospital uh, to To that hospital where I was. Yeah, because yeah, it was near. Now that hospital was locked locked down for a while. I mean I had armed guard at, at me um, Outside your room? Yeah. Did you? Mm. Mm. Um under protection essentially. I don't know whether it was that we must yeah, I suppose they would have had armed guard. I think they might have been for a couple of days until um they knew exactly what was happening. So I mean there were three blokes, I mean the ISIS followers, this and that. Um I mean I don't know why that was they wouldn't have had armed guards just for press or anything. No. I don't no. think. Uh, I think it's, it's probably like the high alert maybe situated yeah. like yeah. you know, uh, situation of what's going on. Yeah. So um I mean they moved they had um some intensive care for a couple of days, this and that. They moved to another one. Then I got finally gave me in a private room on top of the hospital, <laughs> which was which was different. <laughs> it was nice. Yeah. They put me there because... Only they after like, they put you in the private room, not yeah, not Yeah, they the put beginning. me there, things like... I mean, I remember they'd be telling that. I mean, obviously, that, when I was in the hospital, that Glenfield fire happened as well, which... Mm. Um, thing like, but yeah, I mean, obviously then, I think the news come out on a Tuesday that my name come out on Piers Morgan. Yeah. In Britain. Um, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so uh, big guy calling the sun, fuck you, I'm your wall. Yeah, yeah, because so for anyone that didn't know then, at, at the time of you getting yeah. stabbed and obviously having this massive adrenaline rush, you've ended up shouting... I mean, as I say... I'm, I'm <laughs> It was something for a few years after, did you say that, did you this, did you that? Probably didn't even know what happened. No, nah. um, and one had an Arsenal top on, um, this was a joke, one had an Arsenal top on. Well, one of the terrorists, terrorists yeah. you're joking? Yeah. Really? So, how do you, I mean, I don't know whether that, but apparently I did say it, and that's where the story come out of. Mm. Um, that's probably, probably why yeah. they was talking about ISIS, I don't know. Um, I might have been saying, fucking... Well, so afterwards, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. Uh, you don't remember? <laughs> I could look at that. At yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but I've done. I did say it, and that's why someone must have picked it up. But you when, were boozed up as well. Yeah. The adrenaline, like, yeah. yeah so, yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, and, um, a proper got, like patriotic moment to be. Yeah, fair. and then I think come out on the paper on the Tuesday and the Sun, and on um, Piers Morgan. So obviously, then your names come out. Um, everyone's trying to come out and see, yeah. Good, but I'm still in my private room. They wouldn't let people in. Um, a fat family and friends, or um, yeah, you can let one in at a time. This and that. I think you had to be, yeah, who you knew and that. Mm. But it was it was nice. I mean, I'm just in, I should just lay down. I mean, I was injured still. I didn't want to see anyone really anyway because you just you're in a bad way sort of thing. Mm. But in a way of yeah, you're lucky. Lucky yeah. to be alive. Yeah. Um, so, it was nice. And then so, when I finally went downstairs, there was a little woman there come up to me and cuddled me. That was nice. Yeah, I bet and it was. Like, yeah, thing. But, um, yeah, 12 days there. And then I was allowed to come home just so... I mean, I checked any main organs weren't... I, think, I, mean, I mean, anything could have... Very lucky for that as well. Mm. Maybe that. Um, so, 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 so what happened? Did, is this... So you had, like... Piers Morgan get in touch with you. You had all of these like radio shows. I saw America News. Oh, uh, they all, yeah. oh. <laughs> Everyone wanted yeah. to talk to you. Everyone would talk to me. I mean, um, the sun done that thing. The sun come up. So the sun, and the, what was the sun statement? Um, f- fuck you, basically. Yeah, Millwall. Millwall. Right. They got that on I mean, a Tuesday. You, you'd, you'd think they'd come up with something a bit more um, patriotic <laughs> yeah. to, to kind of label you as considering. As someone said, it was probably the best um, quote since Churchill we're fighting on the beaches yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then obviously yeah because obviously the, with the media thing and all that they don't want anyone up there you got a thing like the sun popped up and chatted with them quick um, it was on the Piers Morgan show obviously that was on the Tuesday then they must have contacted me ex um, asked her if she wanted to go on TV, TV AM did she go on as well she went on on I think Tuesday or the fir- uh, Wednesday or Thursday, mm. and when I was in the hospital, there, she, I, they, she phoned me while I was on there, so I chatted to him for about five minutes or things like that. I couldn't really talk because I had one of them little Nokia phones; it was all blurry. 
like um, the, the sand. Really? So, like, I'd had about a minute talk with him while she was... Um, I didn't know why the ex went on there, because we'd be having... <laughs> yeah, relationship. But, like, yeah, we went there. And they asked me to come on the show when I was better, if I wanted to. Now, there was one morning, I got up dressed, I think I'd say, um, just before I went out, I'd say, okay, well, surgery in the afternoon. But they asked me if I wanted to go on in the morning, they'd come and pick me up. Bloody which God. I did. I, whenever, so you did? Yeah, I left the hospital. They got me a cab, went in there, studio, which I was down the road then. And then had your surgery after? Yeah, and I went back to surgery. Just, yeah. I could look back on that and like, I see the face of me where I was still in a... A daze? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna, that's what I was thinking. You must have been in such a blur while this is... Yeah. It's almost a bit, it's all surreal. It must feel like, is this even it, really happening? Yeah, I mean, I chatted to him and that, um, things like that. But you can see that you are, your face is still... If you look at yourself back, mm. yeah, it's just that something maybe. I mean, life wasn't perfect anyway. No, no, so no. Like, I won't, like, a situation I, like that is just a whole yeah. other level, ain't it? And obviously, your body's took a ambulance as well, which. And I told them, um, I've come here, I've got no clothes. They went out and got me some clothes to put on. The uh, a TVA, um, TVA, and they must have bought me some. Oh, did and they? And they bought me a shirt. Yeah, <laughs> did they? I had no clothes with me. Really? Yeah. So, so. so for, obviously, you was in good care from a, a health perspective. What about your um, mental health? Did you get any kind of support? Um, what they do after a terror attack, because I went there, because obviously I had nowhere to live. They wouldn't let me out, so they had to find me a place to go to. Right. Um, but I, I did go back to my exes, um, when my daughter was, for a few times until they found out, because I just built she, she wanted to get out of the hospital and just... Yeah, get... So she put me up again for a few days until they found... A place in it, um, they put me then put me in Brixton above a barber's, <laughs> which okay, it's a place, but, but probably the worst place, yeah, uh, is. to do after that, um, uh, things like that. And why was it just all too busy? It was, yeah, like after after, after yeah, being in that environment, yeah, it's a barber shop where like it's well in barber shops yeah. like Desmond's where one goes round, mm. probably too late at night, and yeah, especially after the tail track with things like that, um. Was I getting? I wasn't getting really that worried about anything. Um, anything then, if anyone's going to come in. I mean, one time in hospital, I probably thought I'm sitting there staring at the window, and then you know there's the people with terrorists. You know that. I must have had a dream one night that they must have they come in for me again, and mm. who knows? Yeah. Your names out there. Um, I mean, the ice is being a new thing, which don't look much bad, but obviously they want to kill people and things like. That. But well, it didn't go too mad. But you go to these things where, after a major event, they, like the mental side things, they do probably assessment if you want to go. I mm. need help. Obviously, I went I went there. And the woman said, then try and get... I never heard from him again after that. Did you ever feel like there were, was anything wrong, like mentally for you? Well, they do that anyway, because you've been through a major... Did you feel like there was anything ever? Um, not at the time, no. No, you just... No. Fuck it, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I got that one bedroom flat. I mean, obviously, then it was just giving um, give thing come up, which raised me some money. Yeah, you know well, I just thought then, should I get away and go and buy a caravan down the coast? Who raised money? Um, my friend Jane. Right. Yeah, she put a thing up to raise a thousand. I went mean, up to fifty five thousand. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that a much contribution you got yeah. Uh, yeah. to the city? Did you get any um, government no. support? in that set financially? No. Because you're no. obviously not working at this point, are you? So No, I mean, I would get me, I mean, we're still with benefits at the time, wherever. Um, even to this day now, I mean, you can get up to quid and injury money. Um, I put my claim in, but I think I put my claim in the last moment because I didn't really realise. That you was entitled to yeah. it? And no, no one even informed you? No. That, so there wasn't really like an aftercare, like no, this is what's happened to you? where they get the pay for it. A lot of them, even the councils, mm. were doing all these aftercare things. Mm. I mean, I've had complaints. I mean, they said, apparently I turned down about 20, 20 flats. Really? Now, there's no way in the world you would get offered 20 flats. You would have been entitled to 20 flats, and, and because you didn't know, nobody... No, 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 you. they said I turned them down. They said you turned them down? <laughs> now, okay, you don't get offered 20 flats anyway. You're not entitled to nah, one. Nah, no. Right? There's um, barely enough housing for... All these things, like... That's just like just one lie, things like that. Um, you have the police come up. Um, 
things like that. Um, I was while I was in hospital, I had police come up um, about this thing when my face was on, was dead out in public, and I had um, a run in with people um, six months before that terror attack, where there was a march on around the Elephant Castle, and um, yeah, I said something to a black photographer who was taking photos of me where in a row, said the words, now these people see my face, and they made a complaint against, to me, about the police, what happened. So, so they made a complaint six months after yeah, the incident, yeah. not at the time. Yeah. Of it. These were like, so, like, so, so they were, saw you from your your yeah. situation and then decided. This was to like a Labour Socialist march against Donald Trump coming over to England. Right. Which right. ain't doing me. It's just that I was walking with dogs. Mm. We got in a mar- got in a, um, conversation with the. Um, they was driving my dogs mad. Where the dog would have went for them. So like. And then got into a heated argument, mm. um, and then a black photographer was taking photos, this and that. By that time, I was raging. Uh, he said, I was about, about him recording and black. Well, okay, I had to go to court for that. I got nicked for that. And when did that happen, sorry? Uh, obviously, um, six months later, but what? Just when I come out of hospital. Literally, just yeah, as you can. Just when I come out of so instead of it being like, thank yeah. you for everything yeah. that you did at that yeah. time, and These are people, you okay? Yeah, you and then obviously you lose again, then, which they just want. Put you down, um, but that's that. I mean, that was that. I mean, I then I bought the caravan about a month, six, two after, month after, and it just went away. And then just hopefully got got away from yeah. it all and just try to have some peace. Yeah, try to have things, and it I say then things kicked in again. Um, and were you completely on your own when you went? At, um, you went with any like? No, I went on my own. Completely. On but your... that's what I wanted just some peace. space. Yeah, mm. peace of that. Didn't bother it. Um, I had to come back to London, still hospital appointments. Um, even then, probation, then after I got mixed with that thing, um, things like that. Um, back and forth, which weren't really a major problem. A bit tiring then after that. But I think then the things come in. Um, then it started kicking in, and then things like that. Then you started sitting on your own and. Thinking. Yeah, thinking. Um, I just got. A prevent program as well while I was down there. And what is a prevent program? Um, a prevent is to stop you going either way, whether they're looking at things, whether you got, is it down to terrorism, down to then the other way, um, is it far right, if you're a collection of people. So what, they saw you as a threat? Yeah. Why would they see you as a threat? Well, the probation told them, I see two, um, told them that I could have been a threat. Apparently they said it was saying, I said, now, what from the six months ago with this this gentleman? Yeah, but after after I got nicked, um, so we talked about a couple months after the uh, terror attack. Um, they decided it would be good to just chat the thing, put, um, chat to these people down that way. And what they is were, it? Some sort of an awareness program? It's an awareness program. Right, but they obviously okay. they, they keep an eye on you because obviously they've 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 noticed something. Yeah, which was the incident that happened six months. Uh, no, nah, I don't think it was. Oh, I, I say it was saying I said to the probation officer. Oh, okay. That's what their that's what their quote was. Mm. So I had to have right, yeah. and and this is all after the incident. That all you, after the incident. Yeah. yeah. So never never mind about your well being, your mental yeah. health. Yeah. There, you know, and you're probably not in the best mental no. frame of mind anyway. No. And and now you're being critiqued for. Yeah. I mean, I think personally, Weber, because there was um, a football lads associate um, football lads alliance um, group set up. But they'd done three marches after the terror attack against. Um, There's three marches against terrorism. Right. Yeah. Standing up to that's it. That's for like all football lads. Millwall yeah. was. Millwall Yeah, was, I didn't yeah. go in any because I was ill. I think they'd done one week after the mm. terror attack. Mm. They'd done another one like, six months later. I didn't go in any because I told stuff, and, but also I was ill. Don't get involved in any like, things. But well, it was like, yeah, they'd done it up against terrorism. Yeah. Um, because that year was obviously the best of third attack. 100%. Um, and they're and worried, and the, the, the from a security point of view, they're obviously worried about it might have been, off. yeah. My name was connected to, mm. like, everything then, whatever. Um, but, they, yeah, I was down there, and the, the Kent police officers come, this and that. Then they, they decided to, some other bloke come down to teach me the right and wrong of thinking, lovely bloke, I'm just talking more about football than things like that. <laughs> well, but, yeah. 
It's that program is like trying to tell me what's right. I mean, you know what's right. What, 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 yeah, what was what was it like? Uh, what's an insight into like what it, the course I mean, was like? I mean, now I know with the prevent thing. I mean, they can pick up things from like teachers. If someone's writing all different things down, either like against um, Islamic things, that right. hatred, they can see things, or if like a that might be deemed as hatred. That yeah, so, or if a far right, if a right things, they've got. And if everywhere or mm. writing um, things everywhere that they might pick up, that's, that's what they're supposed to pick up things about being put. So they're teaching you p- about being politically yeah, correct. Yeah, I suppose you report loads of stuff on social media, mm. HP against something. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So they, they pick up, I don't know why, what on earth is the bloke said, Tr- why are they coming to pick, like, why have I got to come down here mm. to like for do this for you? Mm. They should be looking at you more. To get, get flat social life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, to be honest, get help, like with. I'm absolutely shocked that the sequence of events that you, yeah, the the lack of support that was yeah. given. Yeah, they should be helping you out more to get help for your then post-traumatic stress disorders. Mm. Like coming in, things like they should be there first hand giving you help, not giving you like thing that. Yeah, yeah, like, like to try to teach you. So, uh, what 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 symptoms were you having from PTSD? Um. I just couldn't sleep, things like that. Um, I kept, and then like started smashing things. I just get the ump, things like. Well, I don't, you just get really angry for oh, no the reason. thing was with the, even the phone. The phone to go straight through the tellies. Mm. <laughs> I don't really? know why the why the phone as well because I've like, got no phone now. You weren't watching the football. Telly's gone. <laughs> um, but that was the start of things and all that, and mm. and then in the end I started smashing things up and all that. Um, and there's one time, um, I say, I bought some speed when I come back from London. Just some nights I didn't want to sleep, things like that. Just maybe because I was having a few nightmares. So you were trying to self-medicate, essentially? Maybe, yeah. 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 I mean, you can either drink all night, yeah. things like that, or mm. things like that. I mean, we're talking about, I think like a couple hundred pounds worth, things like that. There's one time when I asked about saying, ah, the police got called to my place. To your place? Yeah, came in, yeah. Uh, coming, but I had speed on the side. Right. Um, yeah, back to the pan, which is mm. which is nothing really. I mean, at the end of the day, she, like, but then they nicked me for the speed. Right, they found they but, found yeah. it, did they? Um, and who would have called on you? The the people in the, the probably in the park might have been worried or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, think, or so I mean, I mean, it's just inside. I mean, I won't hurt no one. Mm. Um, but. Please but, cold. but for your own well being and could have been maybe for, yeah for you. or just thought there might have been hope, some, hope, yeah yeah you like please call I got it with that um, they got community order um, so then I thought then someone told me about this is criminal injuries money I got that in about last week mm. I think before the two year thing was up or whatever so say that bit again the criminal injuries you get a limit to pull it in right yeah someone told me I've done that and then I just had a little time to before that limit was up put it in so when you put your criminal injuries money in um, quote in um, it's that, that, that time the date you put it in so but obviously I had a, I just had, I just finished my community all I think three months or something but un- underneath that is a year unspent convictions which I didn't know about I don't think anyone does you do if you've got three months a community order where you do anything wrong you could they'd be back mm. um, but there's a year and it, unspent convictions it's called and obviously it's been to the Supreme Court, things like that. And if you've got them unspent convictions, you're not entitled to any compensation. R- regardless of what's happened, yeah. you're, you're yeah. end yeah. of... It's got to the ice court and the land and nah. So, so because you had previous conviction, they decided not to... Yeah, it's all about this unspent conviction. You could, you could have had... Um, you could have had you a bank ten years ago. Yeah. You still would have got your compensation. Mm. But it's just this year, that unspent convictions at that time. Yeah, it came um, out. Yeah. So that's another thing there I've been fighting for, which obviously I've lost that. Um, it, and, and and was the conviction to do with the amphetamines? Yeah. 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 That was doing amphetamines, which, yeah. I mean, you can have fine on all that. I think there was, there's a couple of things that come into the category where, the unspent thing on on there, which I never knew about before. It's it's, it's absolutely insane that um, you know, based on everything that happened from that that night, and yeah. and there onwards, obviously you you got the hospital treatment. Yeah. 
but you would have thought there would have been a lot more kind of support workers or something yeah. to, to kind of help you. And in the end, you had to try and deal with everything yourself, essentially. I had to do everything myself and all that. Um, and you did what you thought was best or, you know, at that yeah. time. And then you got punished for that on top of not only not getting the support that you was you should have got. Yeah. You got punished for you trying to find a way to help yourself at the got, same time. Yeah, got punished. I mean, that's that. Um, then you set up your, your heads all over the place. You're not interested in anything. I mean, the football was out the window because the mm. class crowds, it was too much for me. Was it? Um, but did you struggle to be around people? Around people. Or... I, could, I couldn't even face people. I couldn't even face my own mother. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, I what, why, why was that? What was going through I don't, mind? I don't know. Mm. It's just, just couldn't have no eye contact, just couldn't have no conversation. There was nothing, it just wanted to, uh, I don't know. Um, Did you speak to her on the phone and, or? Oh, or just, and then like, eventually I come back to London um, after, what was called? my mum put me up again, um, I stayed there for a little while. Um, even then, you're going back to the pubs, like things like that, just your life then, <laughs> Your life's in a blank, really, but you, you, you're cracking on slowly. You're cracking on slowly. I mean, I think if you if you were that weak, you'd have probably just topped yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah, lucky I weren't that weak. I, even though the tough times, things like that. Okay. You could have, I mean, the pub, well, go pub, things like that, go back to mum. You'd sit there, you'd probably sit there all night and probably have just little days. But finally you get... Slowly, slowly back. You're still not getting help this time. You're still not getting help. I even smashed my mum. <laughs> Telly. Did where, you? Yeah. Did you? I mean, I can laugh now. Nah, where? Yeah. I wonder how many scary that was for mm. probably like thinking stuff like that. Yeah. Um, what What was that? Um, what was the situation I heard about you going to your mum's? Yeah. That's another thing. So when I was done that sort of thing, um, supposed to tell you there, things like that. Even though she's trying to help me, things like that. Um, and then the police obviously told her that I'm not allowed there. So I made like, well, I made the call back to them prevent officers back in Kent. Mm. And I told them I'm at my mum's, yeah? Because <coughs> I'm not the caravan no more. Right, right? come back to yeah. you, they, London. They, they noticed that. They're like a van load of, two days later, I know a van load, police clock at the door. <coughs> came to your mum's? Came to your mum's. Yeah. Um, apparently that call, I wasn't allowed at my mum's, and plus I got nicked for the... No, one, no one told you you weren't allowed? <coughs> no. Apparently um, I got nicked for the phone call, like, at my mum's, and for being there when the police turns up. Really? Even though my mum's like, told me to come here. Yeah, to help me. So why weren't you allowed, why do you think you weren't allowed uh, at your mum's? Um, Because of the thing with the, well, she's old. <coughs> um, that time when I was there, the telly thing, the, yeah, because she obviously the police were called. She was scared at the time, which I don't blame her. But then obviously, right. I, yeah. But I didn't know that I wasn't allowed there. Mm. Um, it's that silly call where she had, she kept coming help me again, which she always would. Um, I remember that time it was getting worse. My thing. Um, so so. The bit that I was um, kind of struggling to to put together is they saw you as, so you was a person in need of help, but you were more looked yeah. at as a threat. Yeah. Why Why? Why was there, what, what were you like in that, were, were you up for getting the help or were you I'll against always, I'll it? I'll always go get the help, I mean. Well, yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's, it's just absolutely unbelievable yeah. that. Even though like the head was in a blank, um, yeah, go and get the help. I mean, at the end of the day, I could look at it and think, if it's that really bad, I've never once thought about uh, suicide on top of yourself, mm. where some people do have things. Um, and I want a position really to really get motivated to get myself out as well, like 100%, to get motivated. Who knows, maybe I should have, I don't know, maybe things. But we finally did, um, then we got, like girlfriend come at a time where um she decided to go and stay with her. Right? So there was a like girlfriend, I don't know, like, like girlfriend and but 
she had her family there, she had a daughter, I have a, a grandkids there, living with her. And she took a chance for me to go over there, where I stayed with her, just stay, just stay there. And I'm like, do you know what? And then day by day, you you start getting that one percent back to normality, even though you're still walking around as a uh, in the days. God knows what her, her daughter grandkids was like, but I knew that what I was like, like in a way, that sort of things. But to me, it was just like somewhere where I could go and put my head down. Mm. and probably just need that rest out of the way of everything and not think about things and just totally new chapter in my head was going then back to normality where slowly slowly going back readjusting into the, yeah and, and and did you um did you have any did you end up going to seek help or did you no still still weren't still waiting still had another couple of assessments mm. um, so so you basically self-healed yourself through that journey essentially yeah. Yeah, which was good. Um, what, what would you? What would you? I went down the shop. I mean, like, like there was some nights going to the pubs. I mean, I'd then go and take a bit of cocaine like, after the thing and things like. But then I started writing down each day on the calendar. Um, yeah, you know, a pint. Yeah, you know, anything. You started becoming sober. Yeah, right. I mean, I don't mind them having a bit of something if I go football for the day for for now. Yeah, fair. If I if I go and have three or four pints, I mean, to me that's the normal. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah, but then like I started making days, started making seven days, ten. I think it went about hundred, right? Hundred days, about. Like, oh, you didn't have a drink. Yeah, didn't yeah. have that. I mean, I was in a different area anyway. Yeah, fair enough. That's um, impressive. Yeah, and things like what about I wasn't like alcoholic anyway or anything like that. But it's just the point of I was like going to pub and have a couple of pints. Every, mm. every, but you probably felt like you needed to um, clear your mind as well because. You've got so m- so much going on in your head at the time. I've been around different people. I'm probably just feeling so bit maybe different around people. Mm. Where um, maybe maybe that thing where I said my mum couldn't even phone, like talk to her or anyone. Mm. Yeah, couldn't even phone. Maybe then to chat to her daughter and her grandkids who were there. Like yeah, in a way of yeah, back go back to normal normality mm. as you do. Um, yeah, and then start getting there, and, and finally, slowly, slowly, um, yeah, we've done that, um, and then still, like, it still haven't given me no flat or nothing, okay, I mean, I mean, I'm there, I'm happy, I'm at my girlfriends, and all that, but i still got me, um, I still want that flat, I still, um, everything else, and things like that, so I was moving about, they had to give me um, B&Bs everywhere. Did they? Yeah. Um, like, there's one b and I was in Paddington I think so it comes out of Westminster and that's the only time the um, I got help with talking therapies um, both me the talking therapies then which was about three years after maybe f- yeah about three years after how did that come about? Um, because I was under different um, different area I was under Westminster then because you was in a different council, yeah. you then got uh, additional support. Yeah, I got support from a... Or, or not even additional, the support that nah, you should have yeah, got. I got a, um, yeah, I got a thing to go and see someone, mm. which was nice. And be honest, it was a nice person as well. We've got on well. And, it, and yeah, it pushed away. And all, I mean, all it is, I mean, slowly, slowly, I was my girlfriends. I was getting back to... Think, but you, you still need help. Hundred percent. In case you it's went too, back, it's too much um, trauma to try yeah. and process on yeah. on your own. Yeah. Um, what was um? What was it? So these these three terrorists were yeah. um, what I've read somewhere jihadists, and jihadists are like extreme extremists. Yes. And they even had a, they even made a program, the Jihadi Next Door, the, right by Channel Four that year. Did they? Yeah, they had it. What after the of, no before? Right before that. Where they're talking about the jihadi things. I think the it's, I actually speak. I think it's only going about ten years, isn't it? Or I've, a I've, long I've time. Been, and um, the jihadis next door, the Channel Four, done a program of them where they follow them around. They even go in parks, playing with the Islamic flag. And mm. um, I mean, how can the police then? They know that's a, maybe a threat. What the things they say. I've never really watched it. I watched some of it. Mm. Um, but one of the killers was on that. Was he? Yeah. On the TV yeah, program? Yeah, TV program. Yeah, so, like, he's, he's 
talking about he, what his views are. I said, I'm going to watch it all again. Mm. So, um, so obviously, I'm no, known to the police anyway. Um, but they were all normal. I look back on the things, they were like all normal people before. They were like underground worker, mm. things like But then obviously, they have been brainwashed. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What, what 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 did it do for your mind as well after that incident when it came, um, because like the the trauma that you, the PTSD did it, did you struggle being around certain people Muslims in particular? Um, I mean, there's I mean, there's mosques everywhere. Uh, well, not everywhere, but there's a lot more coming up in London. Mm. Um, and you know, like, well, you say you know, like Muslim. I mean, as a Muslim, I mean, a lot of them got beards anyway. I mean. I mean, one can have a beard like you, that, right? Mm. But there's other beards where I don't know if it's a style or something where it's a bit mm. different. Um, and I mean, obviously, you're thinking of Muslim, they might not be, but that's the way, like. And certain things like there is sometimes where, yeah, they click things like, but he might have gone out. And I'm just keeping it in my head, like, I didn't really say nothing. Every girlfriend we used to go, like, started things, go away down the week, weekend, each ball, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see these sort of things, and you try to walk, avoid these lower the mosque and um, things like that. Where I could have turned the other way and pulled, I want revenge on these. Where a different thing where you could be thinking, don't be like them because not everyone the same. Mm. Yeah, um, I, I, I would just assume naturally from the 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 issue that happened that. You know, you don't know what to think after a situation like that. No. But naturally, it's it's a lot more negative than it is yeah. any anything else. And I suppose you you said it. You didn't even you couldn't even be around people at one point. So mm. I can uh, you know I can yeah. really understand. Um, that's just, I know Muslim people. Um, well, but, that. You know, a teak, I mean, um, Yeah, you you met a teak at one point. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I've done a podcast with some of them, um, and I met a bloke called a teak. Boy, uh, well, no, he introduced. He said, "Do I want to come and meet him?" And go and chat about the faith and that. And you know what? I did go and meet him and went into a mosque. And what 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 did you go so what did you go there for for for, for yourself? Once you meet him and chat back, um you know not everyone's the same. Which I you know that anyway, mm-hmm. but just to have it Getting more of an insight. Yeah, insight. And he said he invited me around to a mosque to show things. I mean obviously there's still you got your good mosques. And you, then you got your other mosques, which are maybe other other parts of that faith, right? Which they try to avoid, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know the words of them, but um, but you got to meet a teak and you and go. To I got the to meet a teak. Did you? Um, he brought down another bloke from Leicester, which was a former football hooligan, Riaz Khan, right? Which is a Mus- Muslim man, um, and we're saying sweet. It was nice. We had a chat, um, there's some other people there as well, which from different organisations, and um, went in the mosque, and I've looked back now, I was looked, still a bit nervous on going in there, and try to understand um, the situation. I mean, I, I look at it as well, it's not about understanding everyone, it's like any, any faith, I mean, if you you look at any faith, whether it's church, this or that, mm. they've all got their faith to, that's what they believe in, mm. okay? I mean, but it explains to me why, they pray on things at certain times and this and that. But that's their faith. And what what was it like? Did you feel felt quite welcome there? Or oh, very welcome. Yeah, yeah, very welcome. Yeah, really. But I've knew, I knew, I knew um, some Muslim people um, in the past. I mean, even the girl I know of. Mm. Um, so yes, yeah, I mean, you know, they're not bad people anyway. Mm. Things like that. It's just the point of the name's been dragged down. Over the last, especially that year, all the bombings mm. under the uh, Muslim flag, and just keep trying to get a better understanding of things. Yeah, I mean, me, I'm not really just sort of person, so that's their faith, and that's why they pray, and they explain to me why they pray different ways and times and everything else, and yeah, and it was good. Go meet him, um, had a chat. That not all Muslims are terrorists. In a way, yeah, like that's quite, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which I, you know, you, you you can easily fall into that frame of stereotyping. Or yeah, yeah. We had some lovely food and things like. That. I mean, I, dro- I went up to Northampton to do this and all that. 
Um, so we've and we've kept in touch since. Have you? Yeah. So, so, so did you ever get a commendation? Did you ever get some sort of commendation for? Um, uh, I mean, I've had petitions over hundreds. And finally, this year, um, I received the Royal Humain uh, Society's silver medal. Well, c- uh, congratulations yeah. and well done. I picked that up in May. That's been well approved. So, so what? So after these five years, it's it's taken six after six years, years, six, years, six years already. Yeah, they finally um, recognise my bravery. I mean, everybody give that loads of bravery medals. Even George Cross's two police officers that night, and everything else. Um, I've been nominated for the George Cross again. Um, so, if anyone wants to non- um, support that, that nomination, they can do. <laughs> I'll give you... Yeah, yeah, show us, where it, show us where it is. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, let's hope I get the top top one. That'd be nice. Why do you think you haven't been um, given it yet? <laughs> Politics and things involved. I mean, the, the three police officers got it within weeks after. Instantly. Now, these sort of things, nominations, they take up to a year to look at, things like that. I mean, the police officers got it straight. Three nominate. They got three George, George, George's crosses within weeks. So, obviously, it's... Obviously, a bit politically led. Who knows? Mm. I mean, apart from the dead, I come off the worst. Um, and as time gone on, I've had people come to me. I must have saved dozens or scores of lives of people. Mm. Um, Just to have random people message you and be um, yeah, a few, and a few and people have got in touch. You, you said yeah, people got in touch with me. I've met people in there. I mean, yeah, it's good. I mean, it could it's be incredible. It could, it's incredible. It could be like to say for myself. Could be going on to. Mm. It could be a load of people dead that night. Mm. Um, so we hope they. Hope I get that. It will. It will make up for losing the, the compensation. You're still fighting for the compensation. No, it's gone there. Is, it's it, is gone. that? Is it? I've tried every angle. Yeah, because um, you had a solicitor involved, um, yeah. and it. it just can't, the solicitors can't do that. Once it goes to the Supreme Court. Once they make a decision, right? It's all it's all about this unspent conviction. There is one way around it. Like there was a terror attack two years after the my one on the on the other side of London Bridge. There was three blokes went out with um, fire extinguisher, and they booked down the bloke. He already stabbed two people on a lecture co- uh, course. Right. Yeah. Now they got um, and that was considered a terrorist attack. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. The bloke was on the. Uh, the bloke who done it, he was on a uh, course. They come all come from a prison course. I mean, the Queen pardoned the the two two of them for the life sentences, the rest of their life sentences, and they've got um, gallantry awards for bravery. They didn't get a George Cross, but they got just under it for gallantry. Now, um, so that's the other way where I can, where I can get pardoned for that mm. that silly um, thing in my caravan. Yeah. Um, who knows? Yeah. But I, think, I don't, I mean, it's a lot of, uh, it's who you know, I suppose, what you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there is that. But it's just, um, it's a little bit hard to mentally comprehend that. Yeah. What what you... Um, I mean, at the end of the day, apart from conversation, medals, I'm alive. Mm. I've got past me, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, you still going to have any little setbacks, um, especially a bloody fireball day when them bloody bangers go off. <laughs> Do you still like, struggle with it or? Uh, not struggle with it, yeah, no, much. But you know that at the time there was a bang and then bangs after when obviously they shot him was like, yeah, it was echoing everywhere. Mm. And even for a while, the blue light flashing, the, any um, emergency um, things, yeah? God, that used to go in my eyes. Did it? For a while. <laughs> really? Yeah, I know I know that's what they're meant for, mm. but not like the way they went through my eyes. I must have been like, when I must have been unconscious, them lights must have been something there, <laughs> mm. which bad, really. Um, I mean, the only setback at the moment is watching me bloody be all. <laughs> they so, might get a few wins at the moment. So, so um, and you obviously you've got this book here. Yeah, the well. book was done, um, that was done about a year ago. Um, it was done by um, Steve Minaldi, who's a ghostwriter. Um, he approached me, which he said he's been following a story. So, um, yeah, I've done a book, which was good. It's like a therapy as well, where you kept going over. Was things. it? Yeah, yeah. So it was good. I mean, the lion I mean, of I Lord Bridge. Yeah, I don't show much. We like with the bloke. I felt I've only gone for it once just to check it. Everything was all right. Where? Yeah, he, <laughs> he took he took care of uh, all of it. 
yeah, yeah, he done it all, and yeah, it's gone well. Um, that's on Amazon, um, things like that. Um, and that was good to do that. That was another one. Um, as I say, there's a few things coming up. And as I say, there's a few things now. I'd like to give something. I mean, Monday might give something back. Even though the person we just mentioned, that cheek, if he does one, another does thing a lot, again. He does a lot of that with stuff. With good the, deeds. Yeah. We're, um, we'll be on it. Yeah. I'll get you to come out as well. <laughs> yeah, I'd love like, to. Yeah, give something maybe back. Mm. It, it's about just relaxing and just... Well, you've yeah. done a, you know, you've done such a massive, big deed already. To be fair, so yeah, you know, it's it's an incredible, incredible. I mean, this thing. weekend, I think I'm going to be first Millwall away game um, where I haven't been bothered about away game. I used to go all the time. Did you? Yeah, I used to go all the time. I used to love going like football. Um, I like, ain't about to football. It's about meeting up with your mates and just yeah, just having a this social. This weekend, I'm going to go be first away game. Um, yeah, we'll see what that's like how for a while. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? Are you all right? I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I, won't be, I, was, I don't drink as much. Um, I can only have a couple of pints. I mm, just feel... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it gets a long... still gets a long day like travelling. I still get tired sometimes. Things like that. Um, yeah, go there. Go see me. Hopefully, I've got my medal pick up in May. That'd be nice. Also, yeah, just... Things in long time. I've got a couple of holidays a year. Holiday. <laughs> I look forward to something. Mm. It's something to look forward to. Yeah. Um, well, I'm glad. To, I'm glad to hear that you've, you know, you come out the other end of it. Considering, you know, all the circumstances and you know, even feeling suicidal, yeah. I can appreciate it's been a very tough journey to go through. Yeah. Especially and hopefully, it's never. I mean, it's got. It's something you. It happens everywhere. I mean, the terror attacks, things like. I mean, that was a bad year. There's not many at the moment. There's not been. I mean, it always will be. Somewhere, I hope there isn't any time. Always threats, yeah. I hope there isn't any time because... Well, hopefully there's more people like you to um, help the situation yeah. as well. Yeah, um, I hope so. Whether I'll do it again, yeah, that's the question I get asked, which... Well, uh, so would you ever do it if you could relive that moment? Would you ever do it again? So you know what? I could say now, honestly, yes. And mm. You are a bit more aware, but that still doesn't help you if it's something happens instantly. You never know. Yeah. I like to say yes all the time. Mm. All the way through. So Yeah, good good on you. That's more supporters ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not all of them. I believe no one will ask all top again, but Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's just about that. Uh, just get on and try and just enjoy life and just I say don't go too far, but as long as I've got that holiday book, as long as I've got things like that and just then you're happy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean we'll we all getting old now and yeah. things like that. Well, you never, you know, you still got a few years ahead of you anyway, so. And hopefully, I'll get one day, I'll get a bit of respect for the uh, the authorities who have let me down. Mm. Um, well, it definitely sounds like you got the people's respect. Yeah, over, over everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, um, which is it, it's always good, rewarding in itself, yeah. right? And it's it is wrong where the people who are meant to help you have let you down. Mm. Um, yeah, I think uh, to be honest, I've seen it on a lot of the podcasts you talk about it, mm. um, and naturally there's a, there's all the same uh, reaction. But <clears throat> there's a lot of question marks around that. A lot of question marks. I mean, there's things where even down to the inquest. Yeah, even part like as a major, I was a major player in the in the inquest. I should have been. I was mentioned three times. Mm. I don't know why. Um, it's like well, it's, look, it's like I weren't there. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah, that, um, which it, is surprising. It didn't, it didn't happen. Yeah, I mean they they showed the um, the uh, the uh, the press, the world press, me getting stabbed, please, like on the video mm. screen on the third day. Then after that, it was just three words. <laughs> so yeah it's, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, uh, but you did get the cover. But you did the, the good uh, thing was you got the, you got yeah. the coverage, didn't you? Yeah, because yeah, as I say, I, all over the world, though, even down to going over to. I got invited, I got invited to LA. I didn't go there because I couldn't get a visa straight away. Oh, you got invited? Uh, yeah, I got invited to a really? gala over there. Things like. uh, the funniest one was um, X Hamster, the pub site. Oh. X Hamster? <laughs> right, yeah. They sent... Um, Never heard of it, mate. They, oh, <laughs> they, they sent a box to a Millwall uh, for me. I think it was about, eight, it was about six bottles of their, their, boat, their drink. Did they? And about 200 condoms. Did they? <laughs> Did they 200 condoms? About, about two years ago, when <laughs> I was... I went over to Cyprus. They're Russian-based uh, people. 
I went over there and just give her a sign shirt, my wool shirt. Really? <coughs> so we've really? got good friends You've with got him. good recognition yeah. for it, yeah. Shame he didn't invite me to a, a film, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and you, did you get any negative recognition? Like, was there any negative recognition from, <clears throat> obviously, with the, with, yeah, with anyone, I suppose, was there um, any? No, the only thing is, like, say, with the podcast, there might be the odd one or two that will say something about that thing that happened six months, six months ago. Yeah. But nothing. Or because they read what's on. But nothing solely around the, the night of the borough. There was one, no, one day I was walking down, going to get back to the caravan. I was going to try and get a train home, walking the dog. And someone run out, it was a black fella. I don't know who it was. Anyway, come behind him, just clumped me twice in the back of the head, by reason. Said that. I, I, who knows? I mean, because at the end of the day, I was, apparently the police said to me, I was on a, their watch list, their, their ISIS list, whether they're talking rubbish mm. or not. What, what, what does that mean to be on an ISIS list? I don't know, because I think he was as talking if, rubbish. As, as if, like, the terrorists saw that. Yeah, as me, as a, as one of the heroes here. Yeah, just right, stood up to them. Three of their people got shot. Right. So whether that was rubbish or whether that, as they might look at their social media stuff, I don't know. Mm. Who knows? But even that, at the time as well, put a thing to your back of your head, didn't it? Because, yeah, I'm on twitching any curtains just like, it's an awful feeling. Yeah, I'm sure it it's is. It's an awful feeling. Just because that don't help when you do stay up as well because it all goes together. But but you know what? <laughs> don't I buy no curtains no more things like that. Yeah, good. Or, yeah, but you sound like you're in a yeah. good place and and you should be you <clears throat> deserve to be as well, to be fair. So. Yeah, it's all good. It's good to talk about things. Mm. Um and I say I'll be I'll let you know as soon as I've got the other medal, top one if I yeah, yeah, I look forward to seeing and it. And that would be nice to just do you know what? Mm. How come everyone to show off? Yeah. Yeah. Um, be nice. Well, we called the medallion man in soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, well, honestly, it's been an absolute pleasure to hear your story today. So yeah. thank you for coming on. Um, welcome. Mate, I really appreciate You're it. You're welcome, yeah. I'm wishing you all the best for the future as well. Yep. So, um, yeah, thank you. I'll even get a yo meal one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to that. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much. Cheers, pal.